to pray. You ready now? Yeah, I'm just waiting for you. All right. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we bless your holy name on today. Oh, na -na 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 Oh God, we give your name all praise, all honor, all glory. Oh God, it belongs to you, Father God. Oh na 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 so na 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 say. And we bless your name this morning, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We enter in this morning with thanksgiving and with praise. Oh na 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 so na 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 sa. Oh God, how we love you this morning. Oh Father, we bless you. Hey, ba 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 so. Oh you up, up, we lift your name up. Hey, na 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 na, so na 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 na, say. If you said if you be lifted up, up, that you would draw all men unto you, oh God. And so we bless you this morning, oh God. We give you praise. Oh na 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 na, so na 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 na, so. Hear your cry from Zion, oh this morning. Come on, Zion, press into your God. We bless your name. And Father, we realize how you hate an unjust scale. For you are a God of justice. Hey, na 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 so na 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 so. And so we call forth that scale to be balanced. Hey, baba sa. In the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare we will not allow a ruling spirit, a lying spirit to rule over us. We reject Righteous judges, the righteous uh, president, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and Father, we come against every threat uh, against your people, uh, especially those women, uh, oh God, that are laboring, those uh, that are bringing up charges, uh, the sitting judges. Uh, we come against every idle threat. Uh, it comes from the enemy, but we rebuke it now. 
in the name of Jesus. We thank you for angelic protection for the judges and the defense attorneys, for the court clerks, for all that are involved. We come against wickedness in high places and we decree and declare that you will not rule over us. It's just that simple. You will not rule over us in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name. We thank you for righteousness. We thank you that you have set the standard. Oh God, that holiness is right. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we bless you today. Oh God, may there be rejoicing. May there be a great rejoicing. Why? Because you are good and you are good to us. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we know that the, the kings are in your hands. Just like Nebuchadnezzar. Oh God, you changed his heart. Oh God, righteousness will prevail. Oh God, righteousness will prevail. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. So let your glory be revealed. Let your power ring. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Hey, Oh, na 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 Father, we thank you for your plans and your precious thoughts towards us. Ah, oh God, we thank you this morning. Ah, na 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 so na 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 sa. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Oh, glory to God. Oh, Father, ah, na 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 sa. Yes, for righteousness exalts a nation. Ah, hey, na 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 sa. This nation will be exalted. Hey. Nah, 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 nah. This nation will be exalted. We decree and declare that it is so. Oh, nah, 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 say, nah, 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 say. It will be exalted. Why? Because you hear the cry of your children. Oh, nah, 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 so, nah, 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 say. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you for every intercessor. We thank you for every prayer warrior. Those that turn down their plates. Those that cried out to you. We thank you that you are our strength. So strength like no other. In the mighty name 
name of Jesus. Hey, Bobo Sa. Hallelujah. Let the poor say, I am rich. I, oh God. And the sick say that I am well. I am healed. I am delivered. I am my, my, my soul. Declaring, and it is so. Father, we bless you today. In Jesus' name. Oh, na, 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 so, na, 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 Oh, na, 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We bless the Lord. This morning we bless the Lord. Hallelujah for our visitors today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord for all of you that's on Zoom. Oh, Lord God, those of you on Facebook as well as um, YouTube. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We appreciate you taking the time to come and hear what the Lord is saying. Hallelujah. And, and at this time, we um, give you opportunity to testify of God's goodness. Hallelujah. To tell uh, what God has done for you or doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not a requirement. It's a privilege. Hallelujah. It's a privilege. Hallelujah. 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 We do thank God. Hallelujah. And also, as we stand, we prepare to bring our seed uh, gifts unto the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. The information be put up to tell you how to give. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 most of you um, already uh, acquainted and know, but uh, we're going to put it up to give some instructions and direction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But um, as I stand and prepare, hallelujah, for the rest, any of you all that want to come and testify, Hallelujah. We uh, thank God. Hallelujah. For the people of God. Hallelujah. Thank God for the people of God. My husband and I, I was blessed um, um, by our fellowship and, and people that uh, love us to invest in us. And we was able to go and um, take uh, a vacation at the beach. One of my favorite place is yes. the beach. Yes. I, I don't necessarily get in the water. Yes. <laughs> but I like looking at it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God is God is so good. Awesome. You know, and uh, we mm. did exactly what most of you requested. We rest. Amen. We Praise did. Amen. We rest. Mm. And the funny part, when we got back home, we rest some more. Amen. 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 We realized that we were still tired. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we rest so much the second he was there, I guess, that um, then that night we didn't sleep as well. <laughs> <laughs> the best <past laughs> night. But God is faithful. <laughs> Hallelujah. And we do say thanks to all of you, yeah. the one that gave, and those that desired to give. And because y'all give in so many other ways. It ain't always lucrative. It's, it's not always money, monetary. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, just your prayers, your appreciations. We do. We appreciate. We, we thank you for that. Yes. Hallelujah. You, Anyone else would like to testify um, before we move on? Because I hear we got a word this morning. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I praise God for life, health, and strength. Amen. Went through a procedure last week, and I thank God that everything went successful, and I'm healing well, and God has been merciful, and I've had peace throughout the process. Amen. I just thank God. Amen. 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 Peace for the process. Come on, that's a preach word there. Yeah. When, when are you gonna preach it? <laughs> that is a word. Amen. Amen. Peace in the process. Because y'all don't um, kind of strange when we go through. Cause you know we live in the earth, a, a fallen earth. You know what I'm saying? So things gonna happen. You know, and so. God do not uh, um, just allow things to happen. Don't you know? Don't get in the mindset that 
If I did this, God wouldn't have done that. Mm. No, God ain't like that. Mm, mm. He don't play tit for tat. Come on. Uh -uh, no, no. Yeah. yeah, God is good to us. He is. He loves us. Yes, Hallelujah. His promises are sure. Mm -hmm. And he don't take them back. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why he swore by himself. Because he couldn't find nobody else more faithful than, than he. Yeah. There was no one else more no. faithful than God Come but he. Amen. And so that's why he swore Amen. by himself. Amen. Not on what we may do or not do. Mm. Amen. It's God's goodness. Hallelujah. That we are here yes. and that we have health and strength. Health and Hallelujah. And, and when you don't feel the best or you feel a little weak, you, God is still good. Yes. He don't change, y'all. Yes. Yes. We got to get it that God does yes. not change. Hallelujah. I got to get it <laughs> that God does not change. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He's still the same. He's still desiring for us to mm -hmm. have um you know, good, nothing, nothing but good. That's his desire for us. Hallelujah. We got children, a child, you know, close family members. You you want good for them. Yes. That's, you just want good for them. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, and God is more righteous because we're living on his righteousness. Yes, Hallelujah. The end of us. And that's how he feel about us. Amen. That's how he. That's how he loves us. That's right. Amen. 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 If that being all, I'm just going. Oh, now let me pray for those that have already given. Father, we just thank you, Lord God, now for the seed that been sown into this ministry, oh God. Hallelujah, Lord God. In good ground. Goodness. And because we know it's good ground, we expect them to receive a harvest. Yes. In the name of Jesus. You said as long as the earth remains, there is seed time and, and harvest. harvest. Yes. Hallelujah. And you say and you say you're not marked. Whatsoever a man sow, so shall he reap. Yes. So Lord God. So we thank you, God. Hallelujah. Uh -uh, that your measuring stick don't look like ours. Yes, In the name of Jesus, oh God. You just told us to be abundant givers. Yes. Hallelujah. Be a cheerful giver. Hallelujah, God. So we thank you, Lord God, that you would meet every need. Yes. Every need, oh God, according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. We thank you now. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Yes, Recording in progress. Yes, God. Ah, na, 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 so. Amen. Well, all righty. Thank you, all righty. Amen. Pray that everyone is well. Amen. Yes. Um, I want us, want us to... Um, Go to Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. Now, I, I, it's interesting sometimes how the Holy Spirit does you. <laughs> you know, I was talking with um, Lenice, Apostle Lenice, Chief Apostle Lenice, um, on the phone one day. She was talking about finances and and I, I began to share with her what I learned from um, Kenneth Hagen on YouTube. Kenneth Hagen is a, he's gone on to be with the Lord now, but he was one of the, one of the faith leaders, yeah. uh, one of the faith fathers, uh, or, which that, that group of people called Word of Faith, those that were in the Word of Faith movement. And he, and he made the statement that he, he never prayed for money, but he, there was a little system or a little strategy that he used. He never did ask, you know, he would tell, um, when he'd go and minister somewhere, he would tell the, uh, the, uh, the pastor at that particular church, look, he says, I want you to, you know, pump the people for money. Um, because I really, I've got that already taken care of. 
because there have been so, there, there would have been a certain amount that he had already asked for before he he got to the place, and so he believed. Amen. He just simply believed God to meet his needs. Amen. Amen. That's what he said. Amen. He he took the time and, and uh, wrote down to see what it was that he needed. Mm -hmm. uh, each place that he went or, or you know each month he took the time to determine how much he needed mm, yeah. you know and um, and so he said don't you know don't beg the folks basically don't beg people for money um, you know God's gonna do it God's gonna touch the hearts and what they give is what they give and um Real quickly, I was getting ready to read Matthew 6, 19. But that, those little steps, let me just give you those little steps that he gave the people or that he began teaching others. Number one, he says you ask for what it is or determine what it is that you need. Okay? That's the first step. And then you ask the Father for that amount, whether it be one thousand dollars, five thousand, whatever it is, ask the Father. I mean, you know, you have not because you ask not. That's right. Whatever it is that you need, monthly, uh, weekly, biweekly, whatever it is, ask the Father for what you need. Now, this requires faith, mm -hmm. and one of the one of the issues or problems that we're having that we have a tendency to live like people that are only, only us here, United States citizens. Hmm. But we have citizenship also where? Yes. In heaven. Yes. We ain't gotta die to go to heaven. To go to heaven. We have citizenship in heaven right now. Amen. When you were, when you, you were born of the spirit, we call it born again, mm -hmm. uh, Jesus said, except you're born of the Spirit, you won't even see the kingdom mm -hmm. of God or the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. But when you were born in this, of the Spirit, you actually entered the kingdom of heaven at that time. You didn't enter when you joined the church. You entered when you were born of the Spirit. Amen. So you are a citizen of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. I remember when my father was uh, searching for for, for, for for God or for something spiritual in his life. He was searching and he had this book on transcendental med meditation. Mm -hmm. right. Saw that on his bed one time and then I turned around and, and then I saw uh, what reminds me of this is they've been talking about Jimmy, Jimmy Carter because he's getting ready to have, celebrate his 99th birthday, and he's the oldest president that, is, that has ever lived to 99 years old. But after I saw that book of Transcendental Meditation on his bed, and I read a little bit of it, just didn't grab me too much. I think I might have already been a believer at that time. I might have been like 13, 14 years old. But the next book I saw on his big bed was Born Again. And Jimmy Carter's face was on that, on that, um, that, um, on the book cover. On the book cover yeah. And it was Jimmy Carter, really, uh, that popularized Born Again. Being Born Again. He was the one, he, that term, he, was, he used that terminology. He was the one that used that terminology. That was back like in the 70s, early, uh, late 70s, early 80s. Mm -hmm. Born Again. And I read that book. And I said, that's it right there. That's it right there. Point is, we are citizens. If you are born of God, then you are one of God's children. Yes. And you are a citizen of God's kingdom. Amen. All right, you are a citizen of God's kingdom, but we act like we're not. Amen. Why? Because we have a tendency to not use our faith. Amen. All right, the just shall live by what? Faith. faith. It's going to take faith 
to live or to see certain things actually take place in your life, certain things that manifest in your life. It's going to take faith, okay? It's going to take faith for you to come out of some of the situations mm -hmm. that you have been in, whether your fault or not your fault. It's going to take faith. Mm -hmm. When you look at, um, who was it? Um, was it Isaac? Mm -hmm. That he said, sold in the time of famine. Mm -hmm. See that, you know, mm -hmm. you can't stop a famine. Mm -hmm. All right. But, and, and, but, but, and, and most people are not going to do what? So in a time of famine. Mm -hmm. But Isaac, even though the ground was hard, it wasn't raining, he got out there and he put seed in the ground, yeah. even when things are hard. Yeah. And the Bible says he reaped a hundred, hundredfold. Yeah. What does that say to us? Mm -hmm. Even when things are hard. Yeah. Come on, preacher. Put your seed in the ground. Yes. Yes. Even when it's hard. Yes. That's good. Put your seed in the ground. That's good. And, 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 and believe God. Yes. All right? So in faith. So in faith. It says he reaped a hundredfold. It's going to take faith, folks. And it's going to take, especially when there, you see certain conditions in our earth or in this earth. You can't, you can't, um, you can't do it without faith. It's going to take faith. Okay. Amen. Let's go to Matthew 6. You didn't finish your, um, your points. Your steps. Oh, I didn't go through the step. Mm -hmm. um, ask for God what, for what you need. Mm -hmm. The amount of money that you need. Mm -hmm. Monthly. We do it monthly. You can do it by bi weekly if you want to. However you want to do it. Ask for God or ask God for what you need. Number one, bind Satan or the demons. Satan is what? A thief, isn't he? Yes. yes. Satan's a thief. Yes. That's right. Says he's a he he comes to what steal, steal kill, kill, and destroy. And destroy. Mm -hmm. He's a thief. Bind Satan, a bind the demonic, a demons. Mm -hmm. Loose the angels to go get the monies that you requested. Mm -hmm. Bible said that they are called to minister to us what? who are heirs of salvation. Mm -hmm. So you got it. Mm -hmm. um, Apostle Leslie taught about this one Sunday requisition or ask for what it is that you need. Mm -hmm. All right, bind the angel, um, bind the, not the angels, the de demonic angels at least. Bind Satan. Come on. All right. Thank you, Lord. Because he's gonna try to steal from you. Mm -hmm. I can call somebody up here and tell you he's gonna try to steal from you. Isn't that right? Okay. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> He gonna try to <laughs> he gonna try to steal from you. Yes, he will. One way or another. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then the last thing, loose the angels. Oh, no, no. So those are the steps. Now this is on, on YouTube. Kenneth Hagen, mm -hmm. a senior. He's Kenneth Hagen. Um, he's like I said, he's going to glory now. Um, there's a Kenneth Hagen Jr. Mm -hmm. So you want to look for the older guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kenneth Hagen, he's senior. Um, I forgot what the title of it was. But uh, you'll find it. Talks about he never asked, he never prayed for money again. All right, Matthew 6. First thing I wanted us to understand is we have citizenship in heaven. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Let me say it this way we have rights in heaven. The kingdom of God, we have rights there. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. We can expect certain things from God because we have what? Citizenship. citizenship. Mm -hmm. Thank you, David. Hallelujah. The police come and try to harass you. What's the first thing you say? I know my rights. I know my rights. <laughs> Don't do it. I know my rights. Mm -hmm. You know, even though they may do it anyway. <laughs> but you at least say, I know my rights. 
what you're doing is not proper. What you're doing is not right. And we need to be telling the devil that also. Amen. I know my rights. Amen. I'm a citizen of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. You can't do this. Can't touch this. There's a, word, there's a verse in the Bible. First John somewhere it says. And the wicked one toucheth him not. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the righteous. Mm -hmm. You ain't supposed to be touching. What you doing? You not supposed to be touching me with no doggone sickness. Mm -hmm. I'm a citizen of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. you can't handle me any kind of way. And you got to speak to him that way. What I'm talking about. Speak to the devil that way. Because the Bible says he's a trespasser. Yeah, yeah. And he will try it anyway. Yeah, yeah. And if he try it and you don't say nothing, he will do it. Yes, <laughs> trespasser. All right. Where am I going? 619. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust does corrupt. Now, a lot of times they used to bury their money. And that's why he's talking about where moth or rust does corrupt. And where thieves break through and steal. Let me back up. Back up just a moment. The word treasures. That's kingship talk. Mm -hmm. Treasure. Mm -hmm. Treasury. All of that is king, uh, kingship type talk. This is how, this is how kings talk. Mm -hmm. Kings didn't go to bank. They was the bank. Come yeah. on. Yeah. They had a treasury. Come on. Where well, they laid up their their um their precious things. It's the place in which good things are collected and laid up. A receptacle in which valuables are kept or a storehouse. Go ahead and say, I, I, got, I got a treasury in the kingdom of God. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't have a, a, an account. It's a treasury that you have. Why? Because you are what? A king. Yes, come on, According to the scripture, isn't that right? That's right. We just ain't fully embraced that yet. But we are kings and priests, the Bible says. But because we don't really grab a hold of dual citizenship, we tend to only go to the bank. <laughs> we don't visit our treasury. But we visit the bank. <laughs> that's the natural thing. And that's all right. But the just shall live by faith. <laughs> If you don't have no bank in, 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 in no money in the bank, I can guarantee you you got something in your treasury <laughs> that you can make a withdrawal from your treasury because you had a deposit in there. Yes, amen. Some of you don't know you've been making deposits. Come on, come on, come on. When you give an offering every Sunday, you're making what deposits. Come on, come on, come on. When you are, when you are, um. I don't know how much, how much, um, what do you call that? Tip money I gave out mm -hmm. uh, while we were in, in uh, what was it, um, Panama City. Mm -hmm. I know that the, the service, when we went to breakfast, the service got $10 at least mm -hmm. for bringing us a cup of water and some orange juice. Amen. We got our own plates because <laughs> we were eating at the buffet. <laughs> That was a lot of money. <laughs> that was a lot of money. <laughs> that we didn't have to pay for. Come on, man. <laughs> but um, yeah, we got there and the guy that checked us in, he did, he was just a he was just a blessing. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, I, 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 after I told after we told him what, what we wanted, how many nights we wanted to stay, 
I said, oh, I forgot to tell you um, to add the, um, breakfast. the breakfast to, um, mm-hmm. to the meal, uh, to the, the bill. The bill, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he said, oh, I got that. <laughs> Come on. And he added um, Do it. three, three yeah. mornings, isn't that right? Do it, Jesus. Do it. I ain't know the buffet was $40 per person. <laughs> See? <laughs> See how he went? He prepared the Listen. Hallelujah. And, it, and the bill turned out, it, it came out for two of us, it came out to be $90. Come on. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know it was 90 You know, it was going to be $90 each time we went to that buffet. Mm-mm-mm. My God. Oh, I got a treasury somewhere. Oh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> hey, man. I know that. You got a treasury somewhere. Yes. You're not getting blessed for no reason. There's some deposits that you made. Oh, yes. And there's some withdrawals that we didn't even I didn't, we didn't ask. We didn't ask for the withdrawal. God, God just said, let's make, let's make the withdrawal for him. He don't, he, he don't know, he don't know what he's doing. Make the withdrawal for him. <laughs> Go ahead and make the withdrawal for him. We have a, tre- a treasury. Come on. Mm-hmm. You got a treasury. Yes, Jesus. Why? Mm-hmm. You are a citizen of the kingdom of God. Yes. Mm-hmm. What was that? 619? Mm-hmm. All right. Lay not up for yourselves. This is Jesus speaking. Treasures upon earth. Mm-hmm. Where moth and rust does corrupt. And where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Mm-hmm. Let me say that again. But deposit for yourselves mm-hmm. treasures in heaven. Mm-hmm. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. Or do not posit for yourselves treasures upon earth. Now, I'm not saying that you don't, have, you don't mm-hmm. do nothing on earth far as accounts and deposits. We're not saying that. But I'm wanting you to recognize that there's a treasury mm-hmm. that you own in heaven. Thank you, Lord. You still can have a bank account. Don't go that don't don't go that far. <laughs> still can have a bank account. You can still have um a Bitcoin account, <laughs> an Ethereum account. I got some Ethereum. <laughs> yes, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth or rust doth corrupt. Let's talk about that moth or rust. There are things that happen in the economy on earth that cause, even though you put a certain amount of money in the savings, that money, I don't know if you recognize it or not, but that money in the savings is not producing what it used to produce. That's right. That's right. What's, what's happening? Moth and rust have got a hold of it. Because they, you, you know, you might have, could have $1,000 in there, and over three months, you're going to get 50 cents. <laughs> That, that much. If that much. <laughs> not a whole lot. Yeah. It's not a whole lot. That's why a lot of people, you'll see a lot of people doing Bitcoin, that type of thing, because there's increase, dramatic increases that it can make. It's also dramatic what? Decreases. <laughs> so there's a, there's a, um, I don't want to say what, uh, how I want to say that. You can lose money as well as make money. <laughs> All right? Because they're dramatic. Dramatic decreases. Dramatic increases. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. And here really is the, the main part right here. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So it's important where your treasure is. Jesus is making a comparison with 
just laying up stuff in your, your bank account on earth and then laying up your, your treasure in heaven. He's teaching us to have a heavenly focus and not just an earthly focus. All right? Amen. We have dual citizenship. The issue is you're making deposits in your heavenly treasury. But often you're not making withdrawals. Mm -hmm. mm. Often we are not making withdrawals. Mm. And there are times that you are in need because your earthly <laughs> account can't do it. Mm. But now you need to, by faith, go to your heavenly Thank account you it, and God. make a withdrawal. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord, my God. Yes. You're teaching today. It's yes. present. It's there. Mm -hmm. I talked about mm -hmm. what I talked about. I talked about tipping. Mm -hmm. The waitress, mm -hmm. they got $10 at least mm -hmm. every morning. Uh, we left. We got, I think I left at least 15 for the server or the, uh, per the maid or whoever made up the room. And then um, the go-kart carrier. Every time I got on the go-kart, when he drove me to get my car, or bring me back from my car, mm -hmm. at least $5. Mm -hmm. Wasn't a long distance. It wasn't a bit long distance. But I gave him something. Amen. I gave him something. I can't tell you how many people got in those carts and got out of those carts. Yeah. They might have said thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But I was making some deposits. Amen. And then I was being kind. Amen. Make deposits. There, there's, you're able to make deposits in your heavenly treasure. I want to call it your treasure. Your treasury. Make deposits. Because there'll be a time when you'll need. You need God to move on your behalf. And there's something that's there that he can Amen. deposit to you. Okay, Colossians. Well, let me, before I go there, let's look at Luke 12. Luke 12. 33. It's going to be kind of similar, but, um, You're going to see how to make some deposits. Uh, let's start at 22, actually. 22? Yeah, let's start at 22. Hmm. I'm sorry. I said Luke 23. It's 33. That's why it looks different. <laughs> Go to Luke 1233. Okay. 1233. You have that right? Yes, sir. Okay. But, but instead of 33, do 32. Okay. All right. Jesus speaking again. He says, fear not, little flock. Fear not, little flock. Fear not, little flock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For it's your father's good pleasure to do what? Give you the kingdom. What does that mean? Anything that's in the kingdom, you have access to it. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a spiritual kingdom. Mm -hmm. And so that means you have to access it how? By faith. By faith. Mm -hmm. You can't access it with your natural eyes, your, actual, your, your natural mind. You can't, you can't see it, but you can access it. Mm -hmm. At least you can't see it with your natural eyes. You can see it by faith. Mm -hmm. This faith thing, what is this stuff? Faith has to do everything with what God said or what God has spoken. Yes. And the fact that God cannot lie. That's right. Amen. And because you have those two uh, dimensions there, God's word and the fact that he cannot lie, that means 
your faith in his word or your trust in his word will be profitable, profitable to you. Amen. You can stand on his word. Ask Peter. Jesus walking on the water. See, Peter, Peter was quick. He understood the fact about the power of the word of God. He sees Jesus walking on the water and, 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 and he calls out, say, Jesus, if that's you, tell me to come out on the water. Bid me to come. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, come on. Peter jumps out the boat and he's walking on water. But he happens to pay attention to the waves and the wind and he got scared. He, he, he did what? He came out of faith and went down. And he said, Lord, save me. And Jesus raced up and pulled him up again. But he walked on the water. None of the other apostles had that testimony. Peter had an understanding of the word of God. If he tells me to come on out there, I'm I can do it. I can do that. Yes. Uh, where am I? Where am I at again? 32? Yes, sir. Feel not, little folk. It is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Sell that you have and give alms. There is this giving alms again. Mm -hmm. Giving alms, speaking of giving to the poor. Yes, yes. Give alms, provide for yourself bags which wax not old. Listen to it. A treasury or a treasure in, in the heavens that faileth not where no thief approacheth. Here it is again. Neither moth corrupteth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. It's, it's a heart thing. It's a heart matter. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, let me back up a second. The giving of alms is what? A deposit. Yes. A deposit where? Into your treasury in heaven. It's a deposit. Now, it's not the only deposit. I believe soul winning yeah. is a deposit. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. Whatever you yes. do for the king of kings mm -hmm. is a deposit. Amen. So you're making deposit, deposit not just when you're giving money. Amen. But when you're helping Amen. people. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're making deposits. Yes. Amen. Glory. Amen to the Lord. Thank you, Father. Oh, wait, I've told this story before. But um, um, uh, Kevin. Kevin, a lot of you don't know Kevin. Kevin, what's Ke McCuller. Mm -hmm. Kevin? McCuller. Kevin, here at FAMU, um, one day, my wife tells me, get up and go to the store and, 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 and buy Kevin some food. Mm -hmm. I, look, I look at her like, like, what's wrong with you? like what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> get up and go buy Kevin some food. Mm -hmm. And so, I eventually obeyed. <laughs> <laughs> I got up. Went to the store, bought some bread, bought some meat, bought some juice, a drink, and uh, and what else? A macaroni. Oh, I bought a macaroni. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I don't remember that. A microwave, and I and I take it to Kevin's house, and and he's looking strange at me, and and he's looking strange at all the yeah, about four or five roommates, all of them football players looking. They, they looking strange at me, and Kevin looking strange at me, and I didn't know till later, Ke Kevin uh, told me later, says, Dad, 
we had no food. Oh my God. See? We had no food. Janicia ends up in Houston, going to school in Houston, and um, we were concerned about her. She flew here one time and flew back. We weren't was concerned about her getting back home. Called Kevin and said, Kevin, uh, can you um, pick up Janicia for us from the airport and get her to the house? He said, yeah, Dad, I, I, I got her. Picks her up, takes her to the house, takes out his wallet, give her $100. Wow, my God. Hallelujah. Deposits were made. Yes. Yes. Deposits yes. were made. Yes. Yes. He's gonna look around and Kevin gonna mess around and be a multimillionaire pretty soon. Got two restaurants going right now. I mean doing very well. You ever go to Houston, go to That's My Dog. Those are gourmet hot dogs. And then he um he um what's the other restaurant he just up with? Aunt Bill's Soul Food. Yeah, I go to Aunt Bill's. He recognized that there were no um no uh, soul food restaurants in um Houston where he's at, and so he opened up. Now he's opened up the soul food restaurant. But here's the deal now. When I talk about talk about him, here's the deal. When I talk about him, um, he's been invited to sell his hot dogs at the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. For f at least five times. Wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, money, 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 money. <laughs> Go ahead and sing it with me. <laughs> but, 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 but listen, listen. I didn't, I didn't know where Kevin was going to end up being, how he was going to, you know. Who knew he was going to have restaurants of all things? <laughs> Who knew that? <laughs> but um, deposits. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Deposits. Those were deposits. Yes. And 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 when you make deposits, you can make withdrawals. Come on, Come on It's hard to make withdrawals if there's no deposits. Oh, that's right. It's hard to make withdrawals. But listen, our God is good, and he's promised to provide for us. Yes. But I tell you, it's a whole lot easier when you got your own treasury, and you just go, oh, 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 oh. Dad, I need about two, three hundred, four, five hundred dollars from my treasury right now. <laughs> and you make that withdrawal. Yes. Mm. Good stuff. Yes. What was that? What, what, My goodness. What was that? That was Luke 12? 34. Okay, let's go to, um, uh, no, let's go to Proverbs 19. Right. I'm talking about deposits now. I'm just trying to show you some deposits. Mm. Now, and, and, and it's more, and I, I'm, I'm showing you more deposits dealing with the poor. Okay. Because it's real simple Proverbs. to do with the poor. <laughs> Simply because of our, our situations today. You know, you go to you can't go to the convenience store and not and not see someone, you know, that might need um some money for for a, a, a breakfast, money for lunch, something that sir, sir that says, Sir, I'm hungry, you have um five dollars that you can spare. Yeah, I got five dollars here. It's yours. I'm making deposits. Amen. I'm making deposits. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I'm not just doing it for the sake of getting back the money, but I know I'm making deposits. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Proverbs 19. Hang in there with me just a few more moments. Good work. This is good stuff. This is good. Proverbs 19. <laughs> Verse 17. Oh, look at that. <laughs> he that hath pity upon the poor mm -hmm. lendeth unto the Lord. Yes, we do. And that which he hath given, will he pay him again? Oh, yes. So when you give to the poor, the Bible is saying, you lend to the Lord. God don't want to be. Owing nobody. Owing nobody. <laughs> he don't want to know. He don't want to owe nobody. 
He says he will what? Repay again. Yes. So again, every so often I'll do, you know, maybe get about $50 and I'll break it up into like three tens and four fives. Mm -hmm. And I see a person over here and mm -hmm. if they ask me, I got it. I give it to them. Amen. I'm, you know, it's not a whole bunch of money. Mm -hmm. But it's something that they didn't have before. Mm -hmm. And I give it to them. Mm -hmm. I'm making deposits. Amen. I want to encourage you to make some deposits Amen. in your heavenly treasury. Amen. Because what I'm finding out, I'm just talking about I kind of got off of it a little bit. What I'm finding out even though the natural, our natural economy is not rewarding you mm -hmm. for using your money. Come on. <laughs> That's right. God will re reward you for using your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. Some 30 fold, 40, Ooh, uh, 60, 100. Oh. He will reward you. Amen. Come on. You get a good return when you yeah. deposit with deposit it, in, in the treasury. treasury. Mm -hmm. You get a good return. Yes. There's a good return. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. That was 1917. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's go 11:24. Eleven twenty four through thirty one. I think through thirty one. We'll see. Mm -hmm. There is that scattereth, yet increaseth. Mm -hmm. And there is that with that there is that withholdeth or withholds more than is meet or more than he or she should. But it tendeth to poverty. Come on. The more you give, the more you get. That was Proverbs what? 1124. The liberal soul shall be made fat. Yours says rich. Shall be made rich. I like that better. When you think of fat, you just think about, you know, <laughs> your body. Yeah. The liberal soul shall be made rich. Yes. And he that watereth shall be watered also himself. Come on. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Anybody seeing how to make some deposits? Amen. 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 Ooh, he that withholdeth corn, mm -hmm. the people shall curse him. Mm -hmm. But blessing shall be upon the head of him that selleth it. Mm -hmm. Not even talking about business. Business. I'm talking about business yeah. now. Mm -hmm. In other words, they ain't asking you to give it away. Right. Mm -hmm. But at least sell the corn mm -hmm. and let the people have something to eat. Right. Mm -hmm. He that diligently seeketh good uh -huh. procureth what? Favor. Favor. But he that seeketh mischief, it shall come unto him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Diligently seek good. Yeah. I'm talking about deposits now. When you diligently go after good or go after righteousness, you procureth favor. Yes, you do. Favor is one of those true riches. Yes, yes. Bible says that both God and man mm -hmm. favored Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus had favor with both God, God and man. Listen, you need favor. With God and man. With God and man. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Can't just go to church and say, all I need is God. You need man too. Come on. And anybody can tell you that. 
Mm-hmm. All I need is God. No, you need man too, and you need to have favor with man. Yes. Come on, say, God, uh, God, Father, give me favor with man. Yeah, give me favor with man. Let me have favor with you too. Let me have favor with you too. Amen. 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 So be it. Hallelujah. I release favor on you. I receive it now. Let favor be your portion. Favor is my portion. It is my portion. Favor is my portion. Yes. Thank you. He went up there to to that counter at Hyatt, (laughs) Panama City, and Bobby was there. And Bobby said, and we told him, where we live, Bobby said, "Oh, I, I know where you live, cause I I pass by your I pass by uh, what it was it on uh, Bum, Bum Road all the time going to Monticello." Wow, <laughs> isn't that awesome? Guess what? We had favor. That was a mindset up. <laughs> we had favor. Come on, come on. You are blessing us, my God. Mm. What is what is? I didn't do the math. What is ninety times three? Ninety times three. Two seventy. Two seventy. Two seventy. We got two two hundred and seventy dollars worth of food for free. free. Come on. Favor. Do it, then. Bobby even find a way to get reduce our bill. Our hotel bill. Come on, Bobby. Yeah, so yeah, I'll give you a discount. I'll give you this discount also. I can give you this right over here. Favor. Come on, somebody. Shout out favor. On favor. It's one of the true riches. You don't have to always get it in, in dollar bills. You can get it in favor. Come on. Thank you, Lord. It's a scripture in the Bible that says um, something I, I can't remember. I'm not quoting it quite right. But when I was at FAMU, I ran into a problem and when I was at the college and I was owing some money. And, it's, and the Bible says, don't despise your father's friends. Come on, Come on. And there was somebody at FAMU, a male, I can't remember his name now, but he was in accounting at FAMU at the, at the university. And, 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 and I know uh, him and my dad were close. And I went to him. And by the time I left out of his office, I owed zero. Come on. Glory to God. Come on. Faith. Because I, fo- I, I, I followed the Bible. I listened to what the Bible. Don't despise your father. Don't make light. Don't make of your father's friends. Hallelujah. It wasn't my favor, then. It was my father's favor. Come on. That's what it was. They got me at a zero balance. That's good. Is that something? With that particular, it was a one class. I can't remember what it was, but whatever it was, I didn't have the money to pay for it. I, I, I do know that. Mm-hmm. Erased. Thank you, Lord Woo. Jesus. Because I listened to the word of God. I went to my father's friend. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Where am I at? Proverbs 11, 24. 24. No. 27. 27. Mm-hmm. He that diligently, I think I did once, seeketh good, procure favor. Mm-hmm. Go after good, y'all. Mm-hmm. Seek good. Seek what good. is good? Whatever God Whatever. says it is. That's right. Mm-hmm. Amen. What, are, what is bad? Whatever, Whatever God, God says, says it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Lord. But he that seeketh mischief, it shall come to him. Yeah. He that trusteth in his riches shall fall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm not teaching you to trust in your riches. Come on, come on. He that trusteth in his riches shall fall. Mm-hmm. You can't just lean and trust on money. Come on. But the righteous shall what? Flourish, Flourish as a branch. Yes. He that troubleth his own house shall inherit the wind. And the fool shall be a servant to the wise of heart. Mm -hmm. The fruit of the righteous is what? A tree of life. And he that winneth souls is wise. That's why I said soul winning Mm -hmm. is one of those deposits that you can make when you uh, step out there and willing to uh, be connected with Jesus in that way of soul winning. There's a, there's a deposit there. Yes. 
Behold, the righteous shall be what? Recompensed in the earth. Much more the wicked and the sinner. There's consequences for righteousness and there's consequences for wickedness. Yes. All right. Let's do Hebrews. We almost there. 1038. You can only do this or understand this by faith. This is not natural living. It's not natural living to scatter your funds, mm -hmm. to give in that manner. It's not natural. What did I say? Hebrews 38? 10. 1038. Mm -hmm. And I'm not telling you to give all your money away either. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm not saying that. But I am saying, that's why I said take a $20 bill, break it up. Break it up to two tens, or yeah, no, if you break it up two tens, that's 20. Break it up to one ten, two, uh, what, uh, two fives. Take a $20 bill. Don't always walk by when, you know, now I know them when they coming. I can spot them <laughs> 10 miles down the road. <laughs> I can spot them when they, when they come in anyhow. Um, but some of them have true needs. Yeah, amen. And God is pleased when we have pity on the poor. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what He said. Some of them actually do have true needs. Some, mm -hmm. of, some of them are they rip off artists. They are good, you know. That's that's what they are. Yeah. But some of them have genuinely have true needs. And sometimes they just need kindness. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now the just shall what? Live by faith. Not just what? Use their faith. Mm -hmm. But what? Live by faith. Every mm day. -hmm. I wanted to just use my faith. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to learn how to live by faith. <laughs> Some situations are going to take faith yes. to solve those particular situations. Yes, 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 yes. When you look at the parable of the unjust judge, I didn't write that one down. It talks about a widow going to an unjust judge mm -hmm. and, and, and says he, this widow and they during that time, they used the, the idea of a widow as someone that was pretty much helpless mm -hmm. for the most part. Mm -hmm. Because generally, you had men that just worked. It was kind of unusual to see a woman in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. But they were there, just not in grave droves or anything of that nature. And so he talks about the widow going to this unjust judge. And finally, the unjust judge said, man, I got to do whatever this woman want me to do. Because she's going to wear me out. Mm -hmm. And he does. He, he, he does what she wants him to do. And then Jesus says, when I come back, will I find faith in the earth? Yes. What is he talking about? A lot of times we quit. We give up. We do. Help us, Lord. And we stop. Mm -hmm. This this widow wouldn't stop till she got what she wanted. That was Luke 18. Huh? That was Luke 18. Luke 18? Mm -hmm. Talking about the unjust judge? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want me to go to Luke 18? No. Uh, well, I was going to blame it on you. Let me go ahead and blame it on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> now, the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, That's right. my soul shall have no pleasure in him. My God, Jesus. God don't like drawing back. Oh my God. Help me, you say you're with it, but then you're not with it. Come on, come on. You say you're in it, but then you're not in it. Come on, come on. He don't like you to draw back. Help me, Father God. 
but we are not them who what draw back unto perdition. That word perdition means destruction. But of them that believe to what the saving of the soul. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The just shall what live by faith. We're supposed to live by faith. Um, let's go to Luke 10. You said 10, 18? 18, 18, 1. 18, 1. Luke 18, 1. Luke 18, 1. Yeah, I want to go there since I'm talking about faith a little bit. I don't think I'm going to do Colossians. I'll probably stop right here. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought to always to pray and not to faint. That's what I wanted this, you to see. Don't faint. What is fainting? It's, it's having weakness in your body. To the place you are not able to function any longer. Men ought, ought to always pray. Mm -hmm. Prayer is, can be a, a grueling mm -hmm. activity at times. Mm -hmm. It requires effort. Mm -hmm. It requires faith. Yes. Who wants to put the effort in but don't really believe? Oh, my oh, God. God. Help us, Jesus. Who wants to get tired and don't really believe? It requires a, sometimes effort. It requires your strength. Yes. Men ought to always pray. When I say men, I mean women as well. Mm -hmm. And not faint. Right. Mm -hmm. Not give up. Right. Not lose strength. Not lose the ability to, to maintain the prayer. Then I want to jump down. You get a chance, read it from Luke 18, 1 to 8. I'm going to go 6 to 8. 6 to 8. Mm -hmm. okay. 18, 6 to 8. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge saith. And this is the unjust judge. Mm -hmm. And it said of him, he didn't fear God nor man. He, he wasn't studying nobody. In other words, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm that kind of judge. Hear what the unjust judge saith. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear along with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, will he find faith on the earth? Come on. Let's say it this way. When the, when the Son of Man cometh, will he find faith in me? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I want you to find faith in me. That I'm functioning. That I'm operating by, by faith. I'm living by faith. Yes. I'm not just using my faith. Yes. But I'm living by faith. Lord God. I want God to see that I'm living by faith. Yes, Jesus. Yes. Because I can't get it naturally. I don't quit. But I, st I, I use my faith. We don't use our faith enough. You are, you have dual citizenship. Amen. You are a citizen of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. But it takes faith to receive from the kingdom of God. It won't, you can't get it no other way. It's going to be by faith. And that, that, that kind of messes up people. Even kingdom of God people. 
but said this way, even Christian people kind of messes, messes them up. And so we go to the, uh, the, 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 the loan store that's going to charge you about 20% on your, oh, on your, on your, on your <laughs> you know, 20% interest, <laughs> interest on, 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 on what you, borrow. what you borrow from them. I encourage you to go to God before you go to the uh, what is how, what's the scripture say? He that um, the ser the the borrower is servant to the lender until you make your don't don't make yourself a slave because the borrower is servant to the lender. Use your faith. God will hear hear anybody. That's willing to use their faith. I don't know what your needs are. All of your needs are. But I'm telling you, God is able to meet your needs. According to his riches in glory. According to his riches. And I want to tell you, you ought to have some riches yourself. In your treasury. You ought to feel confident in going before God and saying, Father, I thank you for that few hundred dollars or that few thousand dollars. I thank you for that. Amen. I thank you because I know I have deposited in heaven. And I receive it now in the name of Jesus. I receive it now in the name of Jesus. God wants to increase you. Thank yes. you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. He didn't bring you here to decrease you. He brought you here to increase you. I speak a spirit of increase on you. So I receive it in the name of Jesus. You're breaking out to the left, to the right. Yes. Front. In front of you, behind you, yes. you are breaking out. Yes. A spirit of increase oh, yes, Lord. is Hallelujah. your portion. Even Jesus. now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Who would be daring to, clear, uh, to, 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 to claim a spirit of increase? Ah, a claim a spirit of increase. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Some of us need to repent of um, easily going into unnecessary debt. Yes, Thank you, Lord. You know, you know that you didn't wait on the Lord. We didn't seek the Lord, or, or, or you did seek Him, and because you didn't hear, you made your decision. Come on. My Jesus. And so, um, all we have to do is repent. Yes. Forgive, you know, you know deserve, deserve your own heart. Yes. Hallelujah. You. And I, I was sitting there, and I, I deserve my heart. Yes. And, and there's an area, there's a bill that uh, we went into. Yes. Hallelujah. We did pray. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. But we went into it without a, not enough diligence. Yes. Hallelujah. So I stand, we stand, and we repent. In the name of Jesus. Because I've been asking God to, um, you know, to rescue, to, to deliver us, you know, but I got to do the first part. Yes, yeah, glory. Repent. Father, yes. 
along with anybody else that need to do the same thing. Father, we repent yes. for making a bad decision, not yes. waiting in the name of Jesus, oh yes. Lord God. Hallelujah, God. And we thank you for your grace yes. and your mercy to yes. quickly forgive us. Yes. Father, and quickly redeem us yes. or remove us from the snare of hands in the name Jesus, yes. that want to keep us in bondage, yes. in the name of Jesus. And we tell you, you cannot. Yes. We don't belong to you. Yes. We don't belong yes. to you. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you. We receive now, Father, yes. your forgiveness. Yes. Thank you, Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We forgive those that, that maybe trespassed against us. Yes. We forgive. Yes. Hallelujah, God. Oh. We hold against anybody. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord yes. God. Thank you, Father. We desire to love. Yes. Oh, man, nothing oh, but to love, to love in the man. name of Jesus yes. so we can break out. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. When you say go, we ready to go. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We're not in bondage to death. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, early this morning, the Lord gave me a word. And so I have learned to go look up the word. Amen. And um, just as the, the, the beginning of the year, the Lord, one of my words is cunning. Mm -hmm. And I had to look up the definition of cunning. Mm -hmm. And part of it is being skillful. Mm -hmm. When you search the scriptures, the Lord says, bring me the cunning, the, the cunning women, the cunning craftsmen. Uh -huh. That means that you are highly skilled mm -hmm. in what you do. Yeah. And so, Amen. so he gave me the word douse, D-O-U-S-E, douse, D-O-U-S-E, douse. And so... Traditionally, we would use the word that he poured water or she poured water to douse the fire, to uh -huh. put out something, mm -hmm. right? So it yeah. means that. Mm -hmm. But when you look at it uh, more so, this is how Holy Spirit gave it to me. So when you look at the word about pouring liquid over, drenching, and some synonyms are diluge, to overwhelm. And what I felt Holy Spirit was saying is that we are about to be doused, overwhelmed, woo, woo, drenched, woo, not to be put out, come on, come on. but for acceleration. Because you can douse something with an accelerant to make it move faster. Yes. Don't I know? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Literally. <laughs> Unfortunately, we got a testimony of victory over that. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> but this is what I was perceiving from Holy Spirit, yeah. that we are going to be drenched and doused Ooh. to accelerate, Thank you. to move rapidly. Oh, yes. And yes. I, don't, well, I know Trilette was on last night, but yes. even the word that uh, Apostle Norman was delivering last night yeah, uh -huh, mm -hmm. made me think about what the Lord said to us on Friday about the strong shift. Come on. Mm -hmm about the strong shifts yeah. that's going to happen. Yeah. And so when you put an accelerate on something, you shift quickly. Yes, yeah, that's it. <laughs> you shift quickly. You. So the drenching, the diluge, the overwhelming is for us to move quickly. So don't be talking about, whoa, daddy, <laughs> pump the brakes. No. <laughs> You're not in control. Yeah. Flow. 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 Yes. Flow. That is a word. Come on. Amen. Amen. Our kind of confirmation. Amen. My God. Amen. Mm. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm ready. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We're going to go ahead and um, Hallelujah. say goodbye. Thank you. Say it again. Announcements. Announcements. Hallelujah. Okay. Thank you. Do we have God. some announcements? Yes. Where we, we, Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, come on, Grace. Give us the announcements, Grace. Amen. Trying to figure out, am I supposed to have announcements? No, Grace got the announcement. <laughs> you hear me, Grace? Let me go ahead and do mine. Oh, you got it. You, yours, okay.
Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so we do have a few announcements. We have, excuse me. We have our dreams and visions training coming up on the 23rd at 11 a.m. We have our Zoom code and everything posted on Facebook and on the website. We also have a conference coming up for prophetically the next level. It's a virtual prophetic conference. It'll be October the 13th and the 14th. Registration will be in the chat. Also, the QR code is here if you'd like to scan. It'll also be posted on the website and on our Facebook page. So if you want to go ahead and um, just take a quick picture, or if you want, I have it in the chat in just a moment as soon as I stop sharing. Um, I will post the link for you in the chat as well. So go ahead and get your registration. The first night, Friday the 13th, is free, but you still need to register so you can get the link for uh, Zoom. Also, you'll have a $29 registration for this Saturday workshop with um, Chief Apostle Dr. Louise Reynolds. It's going to be powerful, everybody, and I hope to see you all there. Amen. Glory. Thank you, Grace. And then? Yes, so save the date for November the 4th. Uh, we will have a special guest in-house um, as part of her awakening conference, uh, Pastor Alice from North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, and so this is a, 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 a fellowship and a meeting of my apostles mm -hmm. to my nieces. Some of y'all are familiar with her. Uh, yes, November the 4th, India. Um, they're her pastors, mm -hmm. and so through that connection, we're making a connection. So mm -hmm. save the date. More details will be coming out. Um, they are producing the flyer, so once I get get it, I will give it so that it can be shared. So save the date. The time will be at uh, one from one to four. So it's in the afternoon. Amen. So th those of y'all that need to hit Mule Day, get up early <laughs> and hit it, and then get back home, get refreshed, <laughs> yeah, and, and then be ready. <laughs> Mule Day, all right. Uh, come on, uh, uh, Prophetess uh, Gina, you got an announcement as well. She said, "I do." <laughs> <laughs> Amen. She looking pretty with that gray, the gray vein. Look at her. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. But coming up December 16th, a dance workshop and a celebration of dance. I am gathering information now, so hopefully um, it will be available for me to send to you all, Grace, on uh, next week. But it's going to be fire and something profound that... Um, we're trying to win center, uh, win, win people over to the kingdom, right? Amen. Amen. So this is not going to be your typical Christmas celebration conference Amen. or anything. Amen. We're out to prepare feet that preach. Amen. So we're going to be, I'm, I'm asking everybody, you know, we all have family members that needs to be saved. Amen. We have friends, co-workers, all of that stuff. So that's what this conference is about. Amen. God is love. Amen. He yes, is yes. the greatest gift of all. Yes. And we want to give the greatest gift of all. Amen. So we want to bring in a friend that has a friend of a friend that has unsaved people in their family, in their workplaces, wherever. But that's the goal of this conference is to get some people saved. Yes. We all see every day how troubled this world is, especially right here in Tallahassee. Right here in Tallahassee. All these shootings and things going on, people getting killed, young people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we need to give God Amen. the greatest gift of all. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. All right. I believe that's all the announcements. Amen. Glad I even have all the announcements to do. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Amen. But um, anyway, we're so happy that you all joined us today. Thank you so much. Remember to use your faith. Yes. Use your faith, yes. particularly in the area of your finances. Believe God yes. that he's going to meet your needs. He's going to supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. He yes. is faithful to do it. Yes. He's faithful to do it. And he'll do it for you, regardless of, you know, where you may be at financially. He's faithful to supply or to meet all of your needs, according to his riches and glory. Bless you. We're going to say goodbye.
Hasta la vista. Bye, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Good to see everybody.